That's the bucket seat that'll be going inside the Clio. I've literally have a clue what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Do my then. Demon just got out of the can. I gave my bro an event. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to channel. My name is Luke and this is LB TV and we're into another episode again of building a race car. So as you can see in the back, uh, we've got a bucket seat, but this is a brand new bucket seat, don't get me wrong, but I'm actually swapping it with Sam over here. He's got a Sparco, um, what is it called again? Sparco what? G-Tech. Is it G-Tech? Rev or Rev, yeah. Uh, Sparco Rev. I don't know where it is to be fair. Rev. Is that in there, is it? Yeah, so this is the, let Sam get it out. That's the bucket seat that'll be going inside the Clio. Um, I'll show you guys the one in a minute that Sam's actually having, but this is Sam's clear here. Pretty decent. I can't remember, is this a 170 or 180? 170, 172, yeah. So they do the 172s, the 182s, is it? Or is it 187? 172, 182s, oh, yeah. Yeah, 182 as well, yeah. But like, what are you doing there? You're like telling us to track car, aren't you, and everything? Yeah, so if you want me to come down and like basically show you guys more on this particular model, so this is a Mark 1 and it Mark, where is it? What's it, Mark 2? Mark 2 Clio, isn't it? Yeah. So it's Mark 2 Clio. If you want to see more videos on this, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try and come down here with Sam some nights and help him do bits to his and then you guys can get a bit of insight into uh, these as well. Because I know, obviously, I know nothing about the Mark 2s, but I'm starting to learn a fair bit about the Mark 3s. And there's one thing I've just noticed as well is that I put my engine mount, my lower engine mount in the wrong <laughs> the wrong way. It's going to be that side. So we're going to try swapping that around as well. But yeah, Sam's built here. He's just putting a new um, gearbox. Is it a new gearbox in it? Yeah, new box. New box and clutch, so um, I got, I'll try and get you guys updated in the future what goes on with this. But for now, I'll show you all the bucket seat in the back because I'm literally only have one bucket seat in this whole car, so I need to figure out what I'm going to do. Pretty one on the right, the reason why me and Sam swap seats basically, I've seen Sam's Sparkos seat for sale and I was going to buy as a secondary seat, but then I had this one turning up and I realized that the hug. It hugs you a bit more with Sam's seat, and he wants one that's got a bit of a less hug. So hopefully this one is a bit less hugging when we whip it out the box in a second and show you guys. So this is the seat I originally ordered from uh, Bimico. Oh, that's is that better fitting? Yeah. Can actually sit in it. Can you literally not get this one at all? I can't. But it's got a tilt back. Like... Oh really? <laughs> Imagine you. Oh yeah, it's too fair. I can see the difference now. It, like yeah, as it goes, as it goes in, it like probably digs in down there, and then that is just other. that's just straight. I'm yeah. Put that seat in that. Fucking hell. Oh well, win-win then, isn't it? You? <laughs> <laughs> You're whipping out the bolts for the first driver's seat. Uh, what size are they? Like, T25 or something, are they? T40. Uh, T40s. So a bit, a bit bigger. So it's literally four T40 bolts all the way around. You take the first ones out. And you got the ones on the rig take out and the whole seat literally comes out well i think there's an air, air, airbag sensor under this so we might have to cut sam or something <laughs> so, so we whipped everything out um i've just taken out the seat belt cable i'm new to this and i literally don't have a clue what i'm doing right now <laughs> so we're going to leave that bit for a minute we're going to put the omp like bottom bracket seat mount in and then we've got the side mounts for what the seat actually goes on to um on here so i'll take this one off but it looks like it's such a pain to get all of these lined up and bolted in from in there. So basically you've got to line up the bolts. There's one I think I've got down there. You've got to line them all up and bolt them in. Or whatever. Just how, you, how can you get your hand in down there to do all that? It's a right nightmare. All right, Sam, how are we going to do this then? Because this looks like it's going to be a right ball. But you can wind them in the finger top of your finger, I reckon. You probably, yeah, and then just do the and last job. Just, just do it up on the last bit. Going down? Oh, yeah. This is going to take so long. <laughs> oh, yeah, Try to do each one. I think I've got it the right way around. I'm guessing that's the way it would go, isn't it? Like that. And then, so. yeah, I'll take so because the OMP is facing the right way then. Right, we'll quickly just do all these off and then come back. Right, while Sam's just finishing off doing that, Chris has turned up with his, uh, his Clio, which he's actually done bits to, finally. Believe it or not, Chris has actually ordered the same right. kit that I've ordered, but apart from the Coilo, he's on Bilstein's, I'm on okay, Yellow right, Speed. But right. check it out, it looks sick. He's got 20 mil spaces coming from KTEC and 88 hours going on tomorrow, so it's gonna look naughty, but see what I actually really like the look of that, you know? Looks sick, but Chris is pretty much full stripped out as well, apart from the front carpet, um, which he's got to literally do. But he's got the same steering wheel, absolutely everything's identical. Same polybush mount, same exhaust system. The only first difference, obviously, is the Bilstein coilovers. So, but it sits really nice. His is actually lowered on the front a lot more than mine is, but he's got the spaces going on to mine and the tires are going to look absolutely mental. <laughs> Well, I think we've got it set up to how I want it um, so far. 
I've pushed it in as far as I can each side with the side mounts. Um, we're we'll slot the seat in now, see if it's in the right place. If it isn't, we can obviously go forward or backwards, whatever. But it is a bit of a nightmare trying to get underneath these and tying it all up. So I'm praying it's fine first time. Two days later. <laughs> right. Got a little bit heated with the hold. Well, with the old baguette. Um, I'll tell you why in just a second, because basically inside here, um, on this bottom mount bracket, whatever you want to call it, or base mount, obviously you've got the side mount and the base mount underneath. Um, the holes, basically, oh, it's difficult to explain. It's French, just doing my head in, but I tell you what, literally every single mod I do on this car, I don't think one of them's gone like normal, normally correct. I think the no only thing that's gone normal was the service itself, which should be normal anyway. But I'll show you from behind. Oh, and another little saucy thing you're gonna like. Let me shut the door, you're gonna love this. I've had the spoiler done as well, which is absolutely insane. Check it out, it's from K-Tech. It's the actual own spoiler. Proper stunning, look at that. It makes the ass end up so sick. And I've took the rear sun strip off now, but look at that, like from down here. Whoa, that is absolutely naughty. Anyway, let's move to the back. We've obviously now the seat lines up perfectly. Well, it's a little bit off, it's a little bit to the right, but it aligns up pretty much perfectly with the steering wheel. Beforehand, it was literally, I'm probably saying literally a lot because it's just a word I like to use. It was all the way over to the right, it was doing my head in. So what Sam done was underneath here, on this base plate, was actually drilled two holes. Uh, I don't know if you can see. So where those bolts are now, the front one here, there and the other one at the back we had to drill two holes because usually it mounts up here and just in there so we drilled two holes just so we can push the seat further that way and we couldn't get the harnesses in because i think we've got to have a cage so it's all been a bit a little bit mental since uh since yesterday i've gone straight to sam's i haven't bothered with showing you guys that bit because we just wanted to get it done my track days tomorrow and it's all going mental i've really recorded many of my track days i've done so it'd be good to do the first test day track day in the clear what i might do quickly um is fit the induction kit class as a bonus first video should we let's get the induction kit in right guys so down here uh in the contents of the package i've just literally obliterated is the uh k-tech racing induction kit it comes with like a nice heat shield or like a, a shield, shield yeah well, i guess a heat shield for the, uh, the actual cone itself I like, a, like a silicone pipe here and the actual cone from k-tech racing itself so and the good thing which i absolutely love what k-tech racing have done here is they've done a picture by photo by photo instruction for how to fit this which i think every company should do exhaust systems you know drop link not drop links poly bush mounts everything i suppose it's all online now but having this as a photo you know instructions right in front of your face so sick honestly easiest thing to do now i've done this already on chris's so i'm gonna kind of explain step by step what you've got to take out what you don't need what you need to do so we'll go ahead and do that now all right so we'll start off by removing the covers uh that basically will go over the top of the back because what we're gonna have to remove you don't have to remove the top um like a scuttle panel we want to call it but i'm gonna because i need to readjust my wipers because this one's a bit too low and i'm just gonna find it a lot easier when placing everything in because it does like go in against the back there's like a little um what do you call it like a little bung there's a part of the k-tech racing uh heat shield goes into so we're just gonna quickly whip these off um there's a few bits you gotta whip out i think there's a there's a bolt down there for like the that holds the battery in you gotta take these off completely disconnect the battery and then we can start going ahead and taking bits off um, there's like a bung, well, there's like a, a block off little pipe that you put on the end of this uh, that goes into the throttle body that you take off, but we'll, we'll explain it all as we go along. So I think that's as far as we're going to get the battery cover casing or outside casing out. Um, I've whipped this forced induction hose out as well. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to start taking away the scuttle panel here. Um, it's literally two bolts on the windscreen wipers. I don't know what I can't Do not lose that. So take them off. That's probably like a 13 or 14 mil. So yeah, let's quickly whip this on. Um, crack these. They're so easy to do because as soon as you crack them, 
bed is hand tight anyway, so whip these bolts out here. Right, there we go. I messed up with that getting that one out, but it is relatively simple. Um, and then after that, you can just literally pop. Oh, better take those bolts off first, actually. Try to send that flying. So, and once you go out far, you've got some 10 mil bolts that go all the way along. And then once you get to them, that should just pull out. So, I'll let me take them off quickly and then we're all done. And then now, with half the baguette absolutely stripped down, you can have a bit easier access to get to this, uh, this to get to this induction kit. And I believe that's an 8 mil. So, we'll stop taking all this apart now and get onto the real good stuff. Right, so once you've ripped out all the airbox and everything, which is like relatively common sense and simple, I've took out this little solenoid that was over here. You're not going to need it because you'll see why in a bit. It says in the photos as well. Um, so this is what you're pretty much left with. I think you've got to take out now these two bolts, I believe. And I think those rubbers that are still attached on the bottom of these. Yeah, we need these so these can come off because I need you to go back in back in here unfortunately so let's get these in um start them in like that real easy stuff so the mounts that the uh heat shield goes to is there's one two there you see and one out at the back as well um if it zoomed in there you go so i'm gonna go ahead and get this heat shield in um you can see the gearbox mount is down here as well can't see it at the minute it is definitely down there probably underneath this shield here but i'm gonna get everything put in guys because i've got literally so much to do and it's getting dark so right, okay guys so it started getting a little bit late uh from the time when i fitted the k-tech induction kit but here it is all fully fitted and uh, this is how it should look the lighting's terrible in a minute but um that's as good as you're going to get tonight guys once it's all in done and dusted i'm sorry i literally lost it at the end i'll start losing my head a bit because it was getting dark etc but it's all in that's how it should look bottled up lovely like that Straight in, you obviously got the blanking bit on the front wheelie. Um, I did the mistake of taking that out and completely throwing it, so I had to buy a new one. But yeah, there you go, guys. That's how it looks. So yeah, there we go. Another episode of Build a Race Car done and dusted. We're actually flying through this quite a lot. And there is still a long, long way and a lot of things to go. So um, hopefully you're already enjoying it. If you are, slap the like button as always, guys. Um, if you want to get your own build, your own Clio, drop me a DM and, you know, I'll help you guys out as much as I can, whatever I've learned. So far, I will pass the information on to you. And um, yeah, there we go. So that's the clear. That's how it's looking so far. Nice and sweet. But um, yeah, guys, I'll catch you all in the next episode. Subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. Um, and, hit the and hit the bell button to be notified every single time I upload, guys. And uh, yeah, as always, there'll be another episode coming soon. So bye-bye for now.